Hello again, this is Anthony doing another unboxing video. This time we have the new Start Pursuit Zeta Mags. Definitely very excited about getting on the field with these. They are amazing and definitely waiting for something. And for those who don't know, the Zeta Mags are the new extended clips for the Tipman TPX or TIPX, whichever version you have. Works for both models. Definitely excited about using these. So I'm going to go ahead and talk a little bit about what I like about the Zeta Mags. So with your Zeta Mag, one biggest thing is design. It's 20 rounds, and what I like about it the most is I shoot first strike. So first strike actually can be put into this as well as regular paintballs, 6-8 paintballs can fit in as well. Definitely very good. You flip, 10 goes up top, flip it, then you have 10 that goes in on the other side. You get a dust boot and a loading rod. So we'll go into detail before I talk about the accessories, we'll talk about the Zeta Mag itself. One biggest thing I like about it is the design. It's enclosed. So one of the problems that I had with my regular Tipman clips is that they were exposed. So things like rain or other paintballs when I'm getting shot affected my paint quality as well as my springs. This is enclosed so that helps out a lot from getting that dirt, dust, that moisture affecting your paintballs before you even get to pull out your thing and shoot them. The other thing that I like a lot is the detent spring that pulls back and if you can see that here let me jump that down so we'll zoom in so your detent spring is what I like about that which is this right here your detent spring pulls back it was a little bit harder to pull that back when I was using my regular clips but as you can see this little piece here it makes it easier to load in my first strike rounds and they drop a lot easier. The other benefit too is I can actually get 10. With the first strike clip you had you lost when it was a seven straight feed, but you can only fit six. I actually get full 10, so that's 20 first strikes I actually get in here. The biggest thing about that as well is the spring itself. It's stainless steel. So the best benefit about that is when it gets painted up and shot at, you can actually soak this in warm water without it causing damage to the unit to get rid of the paint on the inside, which is ridiculous to clean even with the regular clips with the exposed spring. But you couldn't do that with the other ones because they weren't stainless steel and you didn't want them to rust and break down. With this, I don't have to worry about that. The other benefit too with the spring is the tension they use. It is a lot stronger than the regular clip. So the problem I had with shooting first strike was there was a couple of misfires because the spring was a low pressurized spring on the basic clips and it didn't feed correctly. With the stronger springs you're going to get a lot better feed even when using first strike rounds which I'm too excited for to get on the field and use that. Things I also wanted to talk about is I want to actually show a first strike clip. As you can see and we'll bring that in again on the camera, a little bit of the lighting. You get right here, you can see it's cut out, but again you have this whole exposed spring which was very difficult for just anything, dirt, dust, it's low pressurized, and I only get six shot of that and I have to switch. Zeta Mag is definitely where it's at so far, start pursuit great job I'm really into it and I haven't used it yet I just got mine in today since they were out um, this is one of the first batch that shipped out since after LLC the other thing too is that I like about it is loading so it's a little bit different a lot of people have mixed feelings about that but I actually like it so to load your Zeta mag you'll pull back the detent spring which is this device here and you'll take they give you a loading rod so your loading rod you do not stick paint inside of here the diameter is a lot smaller than 6 8 paint so I don't know why people try to stick paint and feed that what you're going to do because your Zeta mag is a lot longer you it's harder to take something to slide down so they give you a loading rod to actually load that a lot better so we'll take this you want to hold your Zeta mag up and now you don't want to just jam this straight down because if you do it unevenly it might mess up your spring or cause your spring to compress uh, incorrectly so you want to just kinda hold it and you want to take your 
spring and then you do have to push down and give it a little bit till you hear it click. We'll flip the side. We'll also push this one down and I'm going to do this one. And you heard it click and now it is loaded. So that's one of the coolest things. You can see that the spring is pushed down and compressed on both sides. One thing while we have that I want to talk about is the dust boot. A lot of people talk about they lose the dust boot because it pops off. There is a string where you can attach it to your gun, you can attach it to your wrist, that way you don't have to worry about that. I'm going to actually try without attaching it to anything to see if I can take care of it. You can order more, but I'm going to try and see if I can take care of this without actually uh, attaching it to anything because I'm probably going to have four Zeta mags on the field so I can switch. But it clips on really well. It fits pretty snug, so I like it because it protects your exposed paint balls on the bottom. Again, a lot of dirt and stuff kicks up. You definitely want that coverage for it to be exposed, and then when you switch, it goes on the same way. The other way is the Z-axis. As you can see, it's real easy to switch the sides when you're loading it in because all you have to do is literally just flick your wrist and load. I have my TPX here to show how easy it is to go ahead and pull that in. So have this here, we'll take it and push it in so it clicks. So give you guys a little bit better view. And that's the full clip in. It's about, I wanna say four inches out of the gun, which I don't really mind being the more positives that I'm getting from using the Zeta Mag. One big note is if you can see here, there is this follower spring you do need to release that because it is longer it does not automatically release the follower spring once you put it into the gun so <clears throat> you need to release that I like that idea because I don't have to worry about the pressure of the paintballs dimpling with the thing pressed against them until I get onto the field so now it's even increasing the life expectancy of my paintballs <coughs> so the other thing too with that, you just pull down and you hear it release. And so you can go ahead and you can fire. And then when you're done, you hit the release, pull it out, and you can do this in quick motion. Switch, take your other side, put it in, release your follower spring, and you're good to go. 20 rounds versus using a seven clip or if you're a first striker user six so that's going to be one of the biggest benefits that you get with the zeta mags stark pursuit again very good job i'm excited to use this on the field i cannot wait to use the zeta mags i will put up a video of me actually shooting and using the zeta mag as well as in a bit i'm going to show you guys how to load in first strike rounds for those of us who use that big first strike player so I want to give a big shout out to Stark Pursuit. I'm very excited to use those and I cannot wait. Definitely good job. And we'll see how it performs on the field. Get your Zeta mags now. You can go to StarkPursuit.com and order. Uh, $25. Price point is crazy for 25 rounds. And, and it's, it's insane because you pay $35 for two clips, which gives you only 14 on the regular T TPX clips. $25 for 20 can't beat that. You just can't. So thank you, Start Pursuit. Thank you, everybody, for watching. And I'm going to, in a second, show you how to put in first strike rounds. Okay, here's the quick part about putting in the first strike for those who are first strike users with the new Zeta Mag. Again, you can go to startpursuit.com to order and buy your Zeta Mags. But we're going to go ahead and we're going to talk about how the first strike here. So we're going to talk about loading your first strike into your Zeta Mag. So like I talked about in the video, I love the Zeta Mag's first strike because your spring pressure is a lot better. So you get way better feed, less feeding issues, which I experienced a lot with the other clip. So we're just going to go in, pull my detent spring back. Hear that click? That's in. So now with your first strike, when putting in your first strike paint, one of the coolest things is taking here. Usually, typically, you had to kind of stretch. And let me see if I can get this so you can see it. You kind of had to stretch the detent back 
and kind of force your paintballs in. I hated that. With the new one, you can kind of just drop your paintballs in. I have it at an upward angle, so you can kind of just drop that in. And with the spring, it will cause your balls to sit right. So that way, when it goes in, if you can see this, let's see if I can get a good lighting, it fits in correctly. And that's what I like a lot about the first strike. So, and again, we're gonna pull the detent spring back. We're gonna take this one here and I'm gonna hold it pretty much upside down like you would here and just drop that straight in. As you can see, I'm forcing it practically up. And when it falls in, it loads in correctly. So you can see that, so that way it feeds perfectly. So that's how you load your first strike. Definitely, everybody get out there, start playing again. Shout Start Pursuit, great job. Startpursuit.com is where you want to go to pick these up.